it's Grace and welcome to Tiny Baking Valentine's Day Edition. Today's video is dedicated to all my single Pringles out there and all my taken bacons. It's to everyone because you can enjoy Valentine's Day no matter your relationship status. I'm so excited because today I'm baking for the first time in my very own tiny baking studio that was made by my best friend, Audrey. She made it for me for my birthday this year, best friend goals and tiny baking set goals. So let's get excited. I was at a antique store with my mom in Idaho and we found this and she said, Grace, this would be perfect for your tiny baking video, Valentine's Day. I was like, man, you are a genius. So of course we bought it. I just washed it with boiling hot water. My hands burned. But yeah, so this is a little bit bigger than some of our, you know, tiny baking supplies. So I'm going to take a recipe and like multiply it by five. What's How do you say triple it, but like for fives? Quintuple it? Quintuple it? Whatever. I already made a chocolate cake on here, so I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make the vanilla cupcakes, but since I'm pretty sure the vanilla cupcakes only make these three, I'm gonna like multiply it by five. So six times five, 30, 15, 15, okay. Let's get started. Oh my gosh, also, I guess, I mean, you could say that this bowl goes, oh, oh my gosh, see there's so much going on. The red bowl goes with our Valentine's Day theme, but we did a white elephant gift exchange this year and my cousin Lauren did this little tiny baking set, which obviously I had to choose because it's my brand. And how cute is this little Pyrex bowl? Ah! Okay, first things first is I have to set my oven to 350. Easy. I also just want to be very transparent with you. I didn't check if I had all the ingredients. So I'm just hoping that I do. Let's get started. You know, it's something I didn't think there was an oven making that noise, but that's okay. <laughs> so based on my calculations, it's 30 wee spoons of sugar. 1, 2, 5, 6, 10, 11, 17, 18. Okay, I'm actually going to just multiply the recipe by three because that looks like a lot of sugar already. I'm good at math, I can do this. Nine, nine, three, four, 24. Okay, much better. Three wee spoons of butter, which is really nine wee spoons of butter. Oh. <laughs> I just stirred the butter and the sugar and it said try to make it fluffy. Um, and that doesn't look fluffy to me, but um, I did the best I could. And that's really all you can do at the end of the day. Stir in the flavoring. I'm gonna do vanilla. One, two, three, four, five, Okay, let's stir that in. If you didn't know, I have a gluten intolerance, so I'm going to be using the Bob's Red Mill gluten-free one-to-one baking flour instead of regular flour. Eight wee spoons of flour, so that's really 24 for us today. Ah, guys, I'm gonna have to do this in a bigger bowl. Sorry. And I'm actually gonna start over, my bad. Look how much flour there is on my hands. 24! Yeah, that's a lot of flour. It wouldn't have fit in the other thing. And then I need how much baking powder? So this video is not sponsored, but I'm going to be using the Clabber Girl baking powder. Clabber Girl, if you wanted to sponsor me, we could make something work. Three, perfect. Then I'm supposed to mix that together, I think. I want to give you guys a little, a little POV action here. It's amazing how all these tiny ingredients can make such a big mess, but that's okay. I'm gonna add in this just slowly. I, I hope you guys are having a good day. Let's add that in. This is looking more doughy than battery, which is a little bit concerning. I'm, I'm sure it's fine. And you know what, if it comes out more of a cookie, I think it'll still taste good. Okay, next, I need to add in three wee spoons of milk, which is really nine. Four. <laughs> You know, I'm gonna skip to seven. Seven. Eight. Nine. Okay, then it says to add the milk to the mixture and the, this will make it more battery, batter-like. This is very milky, which is a little bit concerning. Maybe I should have skipped to eight. But you know, that's all right. Everybody makes mistakes and everybody has those days. Oh my gosh, it actually smells so good. 
Okay, I feel good about this. And then just for my own little fun touch and because it's, you know, Valentine's Day, I'm gonna make this like a, a funfetti cake. So let me go look at my sprinkle options real quick. Okay, how perfect are these? So I'm just gonna mm, sprinkle them in there, give you a little POV action. How freaking cute is that? And it's becoming kind of pink. I love that. I'm just gonna use some Pam, which isn't the healthiest option, but it's the easiest for me at this moment. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm literally so excited. How cute is this gonna be? That was way too much. Hey, I'm kind of worried that this video is gonna be boring, but I mean, I'm like really doing my best here. Get out all the air bubbles, if you know what I mean. And I think our next step is to put on our baking mitt. Put it in the oven. I'm so bad at YouTube now, sorry. Oh no, there's a bunch of stuff on the bottom. Oh no, oh no. Ah! Okay, I, f I feel good about it. Here we go. I got lots to clean up here. <laughs> so I'll be back in about 10 minutes. Okay, just wanted to check on our cake. It's been about four minutes. It's looking so cute. Woody, do you think the cake looks good? You think it looks good? <laughs> Doing a great job cleaning, you guys. I feel like at this point, it's probably ready. Oh my gosh, that's perfect. I'm sorry, what? That's so freaking cute. <laughs> that's kind of hot, but also not. Oh, it made it seem like it was gonna come out, but maybe not. So I'm not an amateur, so this needs to uh, cool before I start decorating, so I'm just going to leave it. Okay, so I got out this, oh shoot, this is expired, T.O. Mom? Oh, the sugar, the sugar keeps it okay, my mom said. So I was planning to just put these on top, but these have little hearts in them, so I'm thinking, Woody is pulling off <laughs> my apron right now. Woody! <laughs> Woody, stop! I'm filming a video! I took this out of the fridge and I actually flipped it over because as much as this is adorable, I feel like this side is gonna frost better. Last time I used this, I bent it. Okay, it is looking really good. I've never been prouder. Cutest thing I've ever made! And then because I'm classy, I'm gonna eat it with a fork. Okay, here we go. That's good. Wow. Call me a chef. That's so good. Anyway, I hope you guys liked that video. If you did, give it a thumbs up, comment down below other videos you wanna see. Woody's being really needy right now, which is why I'm picking him up. But yeah, I love you guys so much and I'll see you in my next video. Be nice to people, bye. Woody, sorry. You can't eat this, it's for me.